Hello there, Facebook Live on my page. Hello there, Facebook Live in my private Facebook group for future Black Life Coaches. And hello there, Clubhouse. How are you? We are on all three platforms. It would be four where I would bring up IG, but this internet is not given what it's supposed to have gave. I'm on here with my resident hat, little inside joke that I have with myself. There was a film about doctors that was filmed here in Atlanta where Theo Huxtable, a.k.a. Malcolm Jamal Warner, played Dr. A.J. Austin. Like, dream come true. Motivation behind my title. And I found these hats in the thrift store brand new. I gave my neighbor one. That's my own little personal, like, nod to Dr. A.J. Austin's here in Atlanta and around the world. Hey, y'all, can you guess? I'm Dr. A.J. Austin, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC, where I train black women of faith to become certified life coaches online in one day. How do I do this, you ask? Well, I'm going to be teaching you that one tonight because our topic is about how to find a good mentor. Raise your hand if you're here with me live or replay. You can play along too if you're looking for a mentor. If you've ever found yourself at a point in your coaching company where you're like, look, you know it's hard out here for a pimp. Hey, I don't know the rest of the song. But if you've ever found yourself humming those lyrics <laughs> about what it's taking to build your coaching company, I need to see your comment below, por favor. So, okay, I'm getting emails. Oh, I can wait. So, I remember back in uh, 2008, going through a divorce, the same day that my mom passed away. And I remember that during that time, just before that, I had dropped out of college. I was also dealing with homelessness. My job downsized just a few short weeks after that. It was actually Father's Day 2008. So all of this was going on, the economy and coaching and all that. And at some point, I made a decision. I decided that I would dedicate myself to my future because I was tired of being let go. I was tired of walking away. I was tired of being walked away from. I was just tired of people making the decisions for me. I said. I am about to design my future, my life, but I knew I needed help doing that. So I gave myself permission to sit still with my story, everything that I had been through, what I thought about it, all my feelings, all the things that I knew would need to come together for this next phase of my life and this journey. God sent me life coaching. I think I literally got something in the mail or saw something online. I don't know. But at some point, I found myself having a conversation with a good friend and she was becoming a certified life coach. And I told her I had heard about coaching and I wanted to become a coach. So she went to the class and then she told me about it. She paid my way. I paid her back. I took the class. It was a two day intensive live here in Atlanta with the multimillionaire. Come to find out he had studied with the founder, the father of the life coaching industry. That was in 2013, y'all. So 20, 2008. Death, divorce, downsides, dropped out of college, dealing with homelessness, all of that. Some of y'all there right now. Let me see some emojis. You ain't got to tell on yourself, but like whisper it with an emoji real quick. Um, All of that. Then a decision. That's in the middle. <laughs> Going from here to here. Decision in the middle to take control of my destiny, to dedicate my life to my story, to getting better, to healing, and to also helping other people heal. So, um, if you've been in the tribe, you've also heard me talk about my journey through Clark Atlanta University, C-A-U, C-A-U, and how I was a psychology major. And uh, yeah, I've been at this for a minute. <laughs> and how I got my first gig as a TA, a teacher's assistant in the Clark Atlanta University Honors Program, thanks to Dr. Isabella T. Jenkins, who is no longer with us, rest in peace. She just passed away a couple weeks ago, but she ensured my journey my $100,000 journey through my 15 years of education, getting a bachelor's degree. Um, I switched from psychology to training and development. 
because my heart is in training. I just happen to be a coach and I do what I love. I love what I do using my story of death, divorce, downsides, dropping out, dealing with homelessness, and then making that decision. But as you guys heard, I met someone along the way who helped me to decide to dedicate my life, to design my next step. And then I was invited to come on board. So a week after I got my diploma, my degree in training and development from Mercer University, I transferred from Clark Atlanta University to Mercer University, got my degree in training and development. And a week later, class of 2016, Mercer Bears, I got an offer from the same life coach certification company that trained and certified me to come be one of their lead trainers. So I did that from 2016 to 2019, wrapped up that partnership at the end of 2019. And you guys showed up. Those of you who had followed my journey all these years, those of you who seen me on live and doing recordings, and maybe we met somewhere here in Atlanta in person and you heard me speak or you seen me coaching or you came to an event and we met there and you guys were like, so how can I become certified? And it was then that I was inspired to bring what I knew, all of my years of training and being developed and sitting under tutelage and being mentored and walking in what I knew God had called me to do as a speaker, as a trainer, as a teacher, as a coach and an author and so much more. And at the top of 2020, I was invited by a branch of 17 (laughs) to come out and host a focus group to see if people would really be interested in learning about how to become a life coach. And y'all showed up. You raised your hand. We certified you. We brought our training online. And then this thing last year happened. Y'all know what year I'm talking about. (coughs) Where none of y'all couldn't go outside. Us introverts, we were okay with it. (laughs) And so the Black Lives Matter movement took off. And that's when my heart to coach, to train, to teach, to help, to minister, to speak, to write, to serve as a trainer, as a everything else that I do, my heart spoke, but to black women of faith specifically. And so I decided to develop a curriculum and I say decided, but God really had to like deal with me on this because who Jesus. So I did, I sat still, I developed a curriculum, put all my story and my experience and everything I've been through to um, put it in, I put it together. I put it in a manual. I'm actually updating that manual as we speak but it now comes with my one day life coach certification training that I give to our future black life coaches. And so what I was loving about this journey was that I got things like discipline. Um, I bought the domain names. I started developing this curriculum and things that would not only get me from where I was to closer to where God wanted me to be, but I developed community. I developed friendships. I developed interests. I developed a brand that you guys now know as the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC. Now I am showing up on this episode specifically to talk about how to find a mentor. My mentors came in the form of my college education, everything from meeting with my counselors who would make sure I was on the right career path to graduate and complete the right classes, all the way down to the man who certified me, all the way down to you guys, because you taught me things that I did not know. Like, yes, black women of faith are ready to raise their hand and walk in their destinies as certified life coaches. And they would love to be certified by someone who looks like them who acts like them, who talks like them, who speaks like them, church, hallelujah, amen, thank you, Lord, yes, Jesus, Bible, scripture, anointing, calling, mantle, all of that. (laughs) Y'all understand all those key words, right? And so what I learned over time was that there is a crew waiting on you. That's a tweetable, quotable, Facebook, hashtagable, something. But you have to be ready. So over the last 18 months, I have trained and certified over 50 coaches online. Before I brought my training online, I trained and certified 110 coaches live here in Atlanta. So combined, we have about 160 plus, I always lose count, um, 160 plus certified life coaches all over the world. Now we have a growing group group of black women of faith who are certified life coaches. And if you, my dear sister, are listening to this 
and you want to become certified, head over to blacklifecoachselfstudy.com. Again, that's www.blacklifecoachselfstudy.com. And you will find out how to get on your way to that path, the journey of becoming a certified life coach. We have a self-study process. Um, the, the website is pinned in the comments, Facebook, um, both my group and on my page. Uh, Clubhouse, you'll have to write it down. But what it's going to show you are the two ways to become a coach. One, you can do it in a day. Yes, it's possible. I did it for three years for 111 people here live in Atlanta in one day. Okay. Option two is you can take our 10 month course, which blacklifecoachselfstudy.com is going to introduce you to, where you can take your time, go through it, repeat it. Like one of our favorite coaches uh, that's in training now, Coach Helen, she's like, I went back through the modules and I heard somebody here before. So every month we send a module out when you get in what our, what we call our 10 for 10 program, where we've broken down the one day life coach certification self-study process. So you have both of those options. They're both full of information. All the details are over at blacklifecoachselfstudy.com. Now, if you are already certified, whether you train with me, another organization, as long as you have sat with your story, sat with your skill, your knowledge, your experience, your ability to coach, As long as you've practiced coaching from a submissive position to where you too sat and learned and trained and had a tutor and a teacher um, that gave you their stamp of approval in the form of a piece of paper with their seal on it, you're a credentialed coach, then you may be ideal for our newest mentorship program called FOCUS. So what FOCUS does is take coaches who are already certified. Yes, you have to be certified. You must be certified. FOCUS is for certified coaches. I have to say this because I've been getting requests from those of you trying to sneak in like, can I get that link to FOCUS? And I'm like, you ain't certified. Yes, sis. Hold on. Go get your certification. So that's why I'm making BlackLifeCoachSelfStudy.com available. You can go through the certification, get certified in a day, or you can do our 10 for 10 program All of the details, again, are over at BlackLifeCoachSelfStudy.com. Now, I'm doing this live right now to give you guys the opportunity for the next 72 hours to jump into our mentorship program that closes applications 72 hours from the time of this recording. So if you're watching this beyond uh, Wednesday, September 1st, 2021, sorry, it's already closed. Applications are closed um, for this round. I'm not sure when I'll do it again. I'm not sure if I'll do it again, but many of you have come to me and tried to sneak into my Facebook groups and showed up to events that are for our future certified life coaches, but you're already certified and you just want to be a part of a community that's going to help you grow. You say things like, Dr. AJ Austin, I love your energy. I love your spirit. You're so enthusiastic. I just wanted to be in your presence. I just want to be a part of your community. I like where you're going. I love the vision of your company. I want to be among you and the black women you train. So I put together this mentorship group called Focus that's going to help you take one piece of your vision and dream as a coach to go big places, do great things, and we're going to focus on it. Hence the name Focus. So whether you're deciding to write your first book as a coach whether you're deciding to speak and land speaking engagements and grow that port, part, a portion of your coaching company, <clears throat> whether you are deciding to focus specifically on your one-on-one coaching, or if you want to start your own group coaching program, you're going to choose one of those four focuses, and we're going to spend six months together. Six months, 24 weeks, checking in every week for one hour about you and your business in a circle of sisterhood. Now, I only have four spots available for that. Two of them are spoken for. We have two spots available at the time of this recording. Even if just one person show up, child, do you know? Not even if, when, because we already have a registration. So even if that one person just shows up for those six months, y'all, are going to be so jealous of where she is because you know you were supposed to be in that crew too, right? So don't be inboxing me like, well, when you going to do it again? Or, um, I don't know if I'm ready or should I do it? You have to make the decision. You also have to decide to send me an inbox here on Facebook for the link. I'm happy to share it with you. Go check it out. Look at the details. 
submit your application for approval or I'll point you in the right direction of other resources because when it comes to coaching, when it comes to mentoring, when it comes to sitting under tutelage or focusing on one thing to grow your business as a certified life coach, especially as a black woman, you have to be in a place that understands how coaching and mentorship works. So when you coach, mentor, train with me, show up for anything that I do, you have to be in a mental place. You have to be capable. You have to be able. Combine that. You have to have the capacity. The capacity, meaning you're ready. You're ready mentally. You're ready spiritually. You're ready emotionally. You're ready financially. And you're ready from a space, physical space and environment standpoint. to where you've blocked some time out on your calendar. You show up with something to drink. You show up with something to write with. You show up with something to write in, like your favorite journal. You show up for your business consistently. Now, with focus, attendance is mandatory. We have a very strict policy because I don't coach live many times throughout the year. This is the first time I'm doing it live in a group uh, uh, mentorship program for this amount of time for really like a third of the price that I would usually charge my one-on-one clients as far as their investments. So you have to be ready. You have to be open. You have to have the mindset to be coached and to be mentored, to be poured into. Some people don't know how to allow themselves to be poured into, but I'm a pourer. I'm a giver. I'm a server. I had a call with one of our newest coaches yesterday. It was supposed to be two hours. In 17 minutes, she had what she needed. She had no more questions. She'll probably watch this replay. Hey, girl. And I love the fact that I love what I do so much. I can give and I can pour from abundance from my cup. And you have to be ready to be poured into to receive what I have. So you have to be ready to be honest and be open and transparent with yourself and with where you are and what you're able to do. Remember I said you have to have the capacity to receive what I have as your mentor. You also have to be willing to do the work. So with focus, I'm not teaching you really anything. I'm going to share some resources with you as you need them, but I'm there to listen to your goals and your dreams and your vision and your heart and your spirit with who you want to help as a black woman certified coach, whether you're a certified life coach, health coach, relationship coach, wellness coach, spiritual coach, financial coach, all the coaches Life coaching, if you're trained and certified, that's why I say you got to be credentialed as a coach for Focus, our mentorship program, because life coaching is the foundation of all types of coaching if you've been trained and do, did it right, okay? So you have to be willing to do the work as you make the investment of money, of time, of attention, of attention span, that mental capacity, that mindset, the space. You can't have your kids running around in the background or you yelling on mute You can't have your hubby, you know, in the background distracting you, you know, doing little crazy things. It's an undivided focus 60 minutes every week on your business, but you have to be willing to make that investment of doing the work. And the work is hard, y'all. It's not easy growing your own coaching company. But what I found over the last uh, eight years of being a certified life coach is that it's also hard when you try to figure this stuff out on your own. And so you find yourself overwhelmed and guessing and Googling and trying to pull and copy and paste what other people are doing. And then you find out you, you get to a place where you're like, why is this not working for me? Why am I not making the amount of money I know I can make? I know I'm called to greater things. Why do I feel like I'm just not doing what I'm supposed to do? I know I'm called for more. What else should I be doing? Where's the gap that I should be feeling? Well, that's because You're trying to guess Google and just grab whatever you can find that's out there online, but that's not the direction that God is leading you to. So you have to be willing to do the work, but you also have to do like what I've been talking about on previous lives where you reach out and extend your hand of fellowship. I'm going to reach back and we're going to lock hands and walk together as we build our coaching companies. And then depending on who gets accepted into focus, we're going to do this work together as a sisterhood. 
And so you have to be ready to be accountable, be held accountable. When you put something out there, you say you want it, like let's say you want to get paid for your first speaking engagement or you want to host your first event or you want to do your first podcast episode, whether it's a guest or starting your own podcast. We've had success with our coaches in all areas. You maybe want to land a TV deal. We got some reality TV star coaches as well. Um, But all of this is going to come because you're ready to do the work. You're ready to make the investment financially and mentally, space-wise, and you're also ready to be held accountable as far as getting the greatest and best results to help you move forward. Because what I've been noticing is we're very smart as black women. We have degrees. We have certificates in in everything. (laughs) But we also have gotten ourselves this far. Y'all know that book that what got you here won't get you there. So black woman, you got yourself here to this Facebook live today. You got yourself here to the point that you're like, okay, I know there's more. The fact that you clicked on a video that says how to find a mentor means something is speaking to your spirit about what's next for you. And you have to make the decision about what's going to be that greatest and best thing to move forward. And that's why I'm here with the mentorship focus. So you have to inbox me for the link to the mentorship program. Again, you got to be a certified coach. It don't matter what kind of coach. You um, have to inbox me for this link and you have to be a certified coach ready to make this financial investment in your future because this is your baby. Um, One coach asked me, um, do I believe in my coaches? And one thing I came to realize is that I believe with my coaches. So if you show up with a vision, you show up with a goal, you show up with a dream, again, I can extend my hand out as you extend yours. We can join forces because the Bible says where two or three are gathered in his name, he shall be in the midst. One shall chase a thousand, two shall put 10,000 to flight. We can do a lot of damage together. So I can't believe for you, but I can believe with you because this is your baby. It's what you say you want. It's what you say and you know in your heart and your spirit and your soul that God has called you to do. So you don't need me to be believing in you because you know the fact that I'm letting you in the program is my belief. But when you come and you show up and you're like, okay, I'm ready, then I'm going to take my faith and I'm going to join it with yours. And so when it comes to selecting a mentor or hiring a coach, which I'm two in one, so you get the best of both worlds, I also advise you to align your business goals, values, dreams, spirit, energy, whatever you want to call it, with someone whose energy, value, spirit, business goals, and dreams align and match with yours. And what that means is if you have a home-based business as a coach, if you have an MLM, if you have a direct sales business, find an industry specialist. So that's why this mentorship program is for certified coaches. It is for coaches who want to grow in one of the four focus areas. It's for coaches who are committed because I have experience in all of this. You know, I'm a certified life coach, been doing this for years, have struggled, have had successes, continue to have successes and continue to pivot and avoid the struggles and bounce back. And so I can literally help you shave years like this just came to me a couple hours ago when I realized what I share as a black woman of faith who is a coach training and helping coaches, it saves you years of your life trying to figure this all out. So I've been through the process for you. So when you hire a coach, when you work with a mentor, you need someone that has that same experience building their team, building their business, building their systems, building their business to where you want to take your business. And so you want to make sure that you're engaging with people just like that. You're keeping up with their results that they're too committed to the long term. I have a coach of mine who sees my million dollar vision. And I'm like, okay, coach, let's bring it back to the day. We'll get to the million dollar vision. Today, let me tell you what I'm working on. And he said, uh, just the other day he called and he said, I love your um, consistency. He's like, when you're committed to one thing, you're focused on the one thing, you're going to accomplish it. And then you move to the next level. He's like, but you are consistent and that's ethical. That's integrity because you have some people who will just put themselves out there, go for where the money is. And I said, this is literally how I eat. This is how I pay my bills. This is how I shop. 
So all the little cute little lux items y'all see in my Facebook stories, I pay my bills and I live my lifestyle as a result of where I've been able to bring my company. Thanks to the grace of God and to a team full of great coaches that I have. And I bring that knowledge and experience to the table as a mentor. And I bring that knowledge back to you. So as your mentor for focus, when and or if you're accepted, I've been there. I've done that. And I've been where you currently are. So it's your decision to take the next step. If you're already certified, inbox me for the link to focus because applications close in 72 hours. And again, if you're not a certified life coach, you need to already be signed up over at blacklifecoachselfstudy.com. Whether you take our one day life coach certification and training for black women of faith, or whether you take our 10 for 10 program, which is a 10 month extension of that one day life coach certification training that I've been providing for years now. Either way, You should be on your way to either getting certified or getting a mentor. Which one are you ready for? That's all I got. I decided to do a drive-by live (laughs) today. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for clicking the title because as I mentioned, something spoke to you. Maybe my story of dealing with divorce and death and dropping out of college and dealing with homelessness and downsizing of my corporate career and deciding to take matters into my own hands and dedicating myself to my future and designing this coaching company as well as the curriculum and staying disciplined to own this domain and developing this company for you. Maybe you resonate with a piece of that and you see that you can do it too. I know for sure some of you are going through some of that right now. So you have to be where you are ready for your next step, whether it's certification, whether it's mentorship, but you have to be ready to be open, honest, and transparent to get the best of both worlds that I provide as a coach and as a mentor. You also have to be willing to do the work, make the financial investment, make the time investment, make the physical space investment, block it out on your calendar, show up, be accountable for your next best and greatest move forward in your business. Because again, this is your baby. This is what you say you want. This is what you say God has spoke to your heart for years to do. And then when you do decide to inbox me for the link to focus the mentorship program, six months, applications closing in 72 hours, or you decide to come train with us in a day or in a 10 month version of our life coach certification training by visiting blacklifecoachselfstudy.com. You're ready to align your goals, your missions, your dreams, and your visions with someone's who, with someone's who's looks like yours. They are where you're trying to be. And what I love about everything that I do now is that we bring along a community of tribe leaders, tribe members, and women who have gone before you. And they're literally like waiting to serve. They're waiting on you. They're looking for you. They're like, how can I help you? How can I pray for you? Do you need to jump on the phone? Do we need to do some coaching together? I have a team of coaches who are ready to serve you. So look for someone who looks like you. And if I look like you, if my story resonates with you, you need to either be over at blacklifecoachselfstudy.com. You can also already be one of our coaches. That means you need to be in my inbox for the link to focus. And until we meet again, my friends, remember, there is someone somewhere. They are waiting on you, sis to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs because it's when you let your own light shine, you give others permission to do the same. And as a certified life coach, especially a black woman certified life coach, when you impact just one life, you impact generations. I'm Dr. AJ Austin. I'll either meet you over at blacklifecoachselfstudy.com or I look forward to getting your message in my Facebook inbox. And if you've already inboxed me and we haven't chatted, I'm headed over there now to check my spam because sometimes y'all's messages go there for some reason. Sorry. I'll talk to y'all soon. Have a phenomenal rest of your night. God bless. Bye, coaches.